Hello there and my name is Vishnu and welcome to my YouTube channel Cerebra. So today I've got something very interesting because I'm gonna talk about snake venom. And at the end of this video, let's see some commonly mispronounced words which will definitely have a silent letters. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Snakes are legless, long carnivores belonging to the class of reptiles, which includes lizards, turtles, tortoise, crocodiles, and obviously snakes. Snakes are not only beautiful, but also mysterious. As I mentioned earlier, they doesn't have a lug, and they also doesn't have eyelids and external ear openings. So as per the scientists and fossil records, Snakes have been slithering on Earth for more than 100 million years. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, of course. So, let's get into the venom. Snake venom is a highly modified, weaponized saliva which is produced and stored inside the salivary gland, inside the head just behind their eyes. As pairs, so the venom is a complex mixture of proteins, peptides, enzymes, anticoagulants, coagulants, cytotoxins, and etc. To deliver this complex poisonous cocktail, they have modified teeth known as fangs. So fangs is exactly like a hypodermic needle which can easily deliver venom into the tissues of the prey or the victim. Venom is a weapon for them to catch and kill their prey and an excellent mechanism to defend the predators and the rivals. So, Basically, there are three types of venom and we can classify the snakes under these three categories. Neurotoxic, cytotoxic and hemotoxic are the three types of venom produced by snakes generally. The neurotoxic venom, the neurotoxic venom will affect the nervous system, blocks each and every nerve impulses and eventually turning off all the vitals in our body and especially the, the respiratory center, I mean the respiratory system, the lungs. Cobras, mambas, sea snakes, coral snakes are the examples of the snakes producing neurotoxic venom. The cytotoxic venom is more quick than neurotoxic venom. It will affect the cells and tissues causing apoptosis and necrosis respectively. Puff adders and Mozambicus spinning cobras are the examples of the snakes producing cytotoxic venom. We have the final category that is hemotoxic venom. The hemotoxic venoms are simply blood poisons. They will affect the normal blood coagulation process and causing irregular clots by encountering with RBCs, by rupturing RBCs and this irregular blocks can cause cardiac arrest. Most of the vipers including rattlesnakes and copperheads are examples of snakes having hemotoxic venom. There are nearly 3000 species of snakes in the world and 600 of them are venomous or poisonous and only 7% of them are able to kill or significantly wound humans. That is all about the snake venom. So if there is any suggestions or clarification, please let me know in the comment down below. Coming to the pronunciation sessions. So words having silent letters are always confusing. They are like a cheeky little nuggets. I love nuggets, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we have the first word. Okay, okay. This is actually not plumber. It is just plumber. Just forget about the B. And don't pronounce boo. Just plumber. What is your father? He is a plumber. That's enough. Plumber. Okay. Second word. Okay. This is not sandwich. This is sandwich. You don't have to pronounce the letter D. D. No D sound. Just sandwich. Like handsome. In that handsome, you don't have to pronounce a D. Okay, so we have the final and third word. Okay, how will you pronounce this word? Actually, Wednesday or Wednesday? I'm sorry, both are wrong. You have to pronounce this word like Wednesday. Wednesday. The D is silent. 
So that's all about today's video. Thanks for watching.